All right, boys, welcome back to another Project Zomboid video. So, basically, I have taken over this apartment. Now, let me show you the map. So, I basically played here. This is, like, I'm on day three or day four, something like that. And this is currently what I have explored. The X's are places that I have looted. I still need to go to the gun station. And this is my home. Now... I got myself a lot of food, as you may see, even just in the fridge, I got myself a bunch of fresh food, got a lot of canned food, got myself also a bunch of meds and even more canned food, we got ourselves some guns on the floor as well, over here we have ourselves even more meds, I did actually get myself some really, really good loot, I'm really happy with the progression that we have made, and over here we have ourselves a bunch of ammo and a bunch of books, so... Uh, if it's your first time here, I would really appreciate if you guys also subscribe. We're trying to get ourselves a Project Zomboid uh, series ongoing. And currently, this is how... This is going pretty well. I, I think this is kind of like day three or day four. I don't really know how... I can know, actually. Um, in terms of skills, this is currently what I've, I I have. I have myself uh, X2 Carpentry 2 and Cooking 2 as well. And we're very close to getting X Level 3 as well. So what I'm thinking of doing for now is I want to explore all the way up here. I did loot a lot of these. Actually, like, I just didn't mark them. But I did loot a lot of them. And I'm thinking of basically going over to that road. I actually did loot the police station. I don't know if I said I didn't, but I did loot it. That's how I got all of the guns. So, uh, yeah, before we go, I'm gonna get myself some food as well. I do have myself uh, a bunch of bottles as well. I'm gonna fill up the saucepan with water. Let me actually drink as well. And let's get ourselves some... Before we go, let me eat, like, some pie or something. Yeah, let's just eat that really quickly. Lovely. All right, yeah, we're good with food. And I will take myself with me, probably. Yeah, we got some canned beans over here. I'm gonna take myself, perhaps, some... Just some canned... Actually, no, let's not take canned food. I'm gonna take myself, like, yeah, these chips. We could take these chips. I have dog food for some reason. Granola bar and gummy bears. Yeah, these are, these are okay. These are some, some pretty okay food, I guess. Uh, I did get myself, like, already a bunch of zombie kills, actually. I got myself a hundred zombie kills, actually. That's actually insane. Um, so yeah, we're gonna explore all the way up here. Got myself a pretty strong character, actually, as well. I'm literally one-tapping zombies at this point. I didn't loot the bank at all. I don't think we should loot the bank, to be honest. I hear a zombie somewhere around. Oh yeah, there's a zombie right here. There's two zombies. Okay, there's actually a, a few of them showing up. Oh yeah, one of them is dead. Another one dead. Another one dead. Beautiful. There's actually a few zombies. Where the hell did they come from? There's one more here. Let's just take them out really quickly. Yeah, they're all dead. I'm trying to get myself a map because I do want to get to the prison and I have never gone to the prison yet So I kind of don't know what to expect over there. I do know that there's like a lot of zombies over there So it's probably something that we're gonna expect. Yeah, the bank every single window is almost broken in the bank Okay, there's a bunch of zombies there. I need to take them out. I'm that's where I want to go. Okay. There are a lot of zombies here. Damn Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own Project Zomboid server and have no idea how to start? Then I recommend checking out Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting, you can make a server in minutes. The servers all have high performance and super easy to use. When I started using Pine Hosting, I had no idea about anything, but after a few minutes of looking around, I did learn the basics very shortly. They have DDoS protection, locations all around the world, and affordable pricing. They also have a workshop installer, which is super easy to use. If you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your server. And also, it's not just Project Zomboid Hosting, they also offer a wide range of games such as Minecraft, Rust, and Unturned. If you guys are interested, make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and use the called LDG for 30% off, and let's get straight into the video. I mean, last time I was here, there was a bunch of gunshots, so that could probably be why. Yeah, I'm gonna try to take them out. Literally one-tapping zombies. We're very strong with the axe, thankfully. Because if we weren't strong with the axe, then I would not be able to survive 100%. Oh yeah, one more. Yep, they're all dead. Let's see if any of them have a map. Oh, I don't, oh this guy had boots. Yeah, this guy had cigarettes. Yeah, we don't need any of these. Yeah, nothing good here. Okay, I mean, I don't know if I should use a car to get to the prison or if I should just walk there. Technically, everything is walking distance. just gonna take longer, which is kind of okay. I don't mind that. So now we did not get bit or anything. None of that, not scratched, none of that. It's kind of, kind of impressed that I didn't get bit once or scratched or whatever. We're getting tired. There's a bunch of zombies. One more dead. Come on, die. Let's just throw her. One more dead. One more. Another one. Last one. Alright, all dead. So, yeah, we are 
moderately exerted. Nothing too serious though, I mean we're alright. And we did kill all of the zombies that we wanted to kill, so that's really the important thing. Alright, well yeah, nothing that we really need. So we, we did make it till basically the... We made it, in terms of how far we made it out from our house, we only made it till the library. So yeah, we made we checked out the medical, yeah, we've been here, the book, yeah. So we've made it till the library and... I don't know if I should actually enter to just calm, like, relax a little bit. I should maybe sit on the ground for a bit and wait. Yeah, there we go. We're okay. Uh, this is the buffet. We don't really need any more food, to be completely honest. Maybe I could go in there to relax a bit. There's a few zombies here and there. Let's take out... There's, like, five over here. Let's take these guys out. Oh, my God. Right, let's just kill them. All right, another one dead. One more dead. Alright, lovely. I think we're almost- Yeah, we're almost leveling up Axe as well. So that's the fashion. Let's check out maybe D&D and &D, uh, the buffet. Maybe, I don't know. There's like- Probably food is- Yeah, they're rotten now though. Everything's rotten. Should've came here at the start or something, but yeah. I mean, makes sense. Alright, so what I'm gonna do- Oh, there's another one in here. <laughs> yeah, they're both dead. Alright, let's see if maybe there's like any canned food, but I don't think so. There's marshmallows, beef jerky. Let me eat that so that we'll actually eat food from in here rather than using the food that we had. Alright, beautiful. Yeah, there's some still fresh food. There's some salmon in here. You're okay when it comes to food, but we're getting sad. I don't have any bo like books with me or whatever. So there's, yeah, I mean, the, the fresh food is still gonna stay because they're still alright. Maybe I... No, let's leave them in here. Okay. I don't think I have any books on me, so it's gonna be a bit of a pain. I think there's zombies in here. Is there? I don't know. Nope, there isn't. But I think there's zombies outside. Yeah. There are a lot of zombies outside. Okay, there were a few. Run, run! Oh my god! Bro. Yeah, I, I got a huge jump scare apparently. My, my character is super scared. Maybe I'll go to the library to try to get a book. Just to read it so that we'll feel better as well. Yeah, one's dead. Another one dead. Come on, bro, die. My goal is to survive for 10 days. That's really it. Problem is, I wouldn't even know how long I've survived. We got a key ring. I mean, we don't really need it, but... Uh, there's... Yeah, nothing that we need. A noted map. I don't even know what this is. Let me check it out. Let's see. Let's read map. Okay, so this doesn't really help out. What does this say? Barricade with the planks I brought to you. Otherwise, these things will get in. Don't forget, don't only one in. While I'm away, I'll be half an hour any longer. Call the Edwards on Alright, I don't really care, bro. I'm sorry. You're probably dead. Alright, so let's just sit on ground for a little bit. So that our exertion goes away. 6am, yeah, we're no longer exerted. Good. But we are getting sad. So, I mean, should we really worry about being sad or not? The book's right here, so let me let me check if maybe there's, like, a book. I did get in here, I did search to see, but I may have left some books, yeah. There's, like, Carpentry Volume, so we already have that. Alright, so read that. Yeah, there we go, we already bet, eh? Alright, beautiful. So, should I go over there? Should I go over here? I don't even know what this building is. Is it, like, a mall or something? I think that's something like that. Yeah, I'll just take out these zombies first. Oh, we got plus one X, beautiful. So we are, that basically means that we're even better with an axe, even though we were literally dominating all of these zombies. That's amazing. What is this building? Looks like a large building, man. But we made it till the end of the street, which is kind of... Oh, wait, it's like an office area. Oh, it's a laundromat. All right, there's a laundromat over here. We can't even enter. Smash window. Remove glass. We are already getting sad. We just read a book. Yeah, there's probably not going to be anything in here, right? Fat towel, socks, cleaning liquid. Duct tape, we'll take those. Tarps, we'll take them too. Just in case, bleach. So the thing is though, I realized that in my base, I don't really have a lot of space left in there. Like, I don't have a lot of space, so... Oh, we found the super... Oh, this is the supermarket! Oh my god, we could live in the supermarket. I should live in the supermarket. Yes, I am going to live in here. Oh my god. I am going to live in the supermarket. I'm going to bring all of the loot here. This is going to be our second home. Home number two. Or actually, I would just have multiple homes. Yeah, we're gonna live in here, man. We're going to live in the supermarket. I think that would be a, a really good idea. Yeah, there's like a bunch of boxes here. Yeah, so what I was saying is that I don't have space because I filled up everything almost. With like food and everything. Oh my god, alright. Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, food around, but pretty sure there's gonna be a bunch of zombies too. Yeah, I knew it. This is where we're going to live. There's even more zombies. 
They got one tap. Our home is now in the only problem is I don't know if I have a bed though. Oh, there's a bunch of sack of food, but they're rotten, sadly. Let me check to see. I don't think there's gonna be a bed, actually. I would love to live in here. I don't know if I can craft a bed. Sleeping. Yeah, I don't think I can. I never did that, so I don't know. Okay, well, if there's a bed, maybe I can maybe sleep. Wait, am I sleeping on the floor? I mean, we could technically sleep on the floor then, but I would love to actually find a bed, you know? Yeah, there's a bunch of water around here. Yeah, our neck is in pain because we didn't, you know, we slept uncomfortably there's so much food bro i'm so happy we found this place i didn't even know about this place man yeah we're gonna live in the supermarket only problem is yeah food is not gonna be a problem food is not a problem at all probably are going to be rotten though yeah they're stale you know all of these are stale the canned food is what's still alive like still okay yeah there's even like some of them are rotten okay well that's not really good is it um let's check out what's upstairs maybe i don't know there's a bed or something imagine like there's furniture up here that would be insane okay it's like a cafeteria all right well i wish there's a bed i pray that there's a bed all right this is toilets more toilets yeah it's probably gonna be just toilets isn't it yeah this is the kitchen pens crayons pen empty white mat mug I wonder how long we would be able to survive for in here. Only problem is sleeping, man. That's the only issue we have. Other than that, I would love to live in the supermarket. What's up here? Oh, we get on the... Oh, this is actually sick that we can get on the roof. Okay, I mean, that's kind of good, to be honest. Not really. That's actually really good. Because we could just... If there's a bunch of zombies following me, I could just get up here and then just jump off. Though I'll probably break, like, my leg or something, but... Do we know about this place? Really happy with it. What's over here? Uh, more storage, pens, sheet of papers, erasers. Okay. Wish there was a TV too, but there isn't. Alright, very nice. Brooms, yeah, lights, eh? Hammer. Okay, so, I don't know if we're gonna make this our home actually, but there's so much food in here. This is gonna be like, we should, we should, we should live in here for a while. We definitely should live here. Um, let me see what's around. Like, what kind of buildings are around. Yeah, we're connected with the laundromat, so even though we don't really need it. Okay, there's a few zombies. That, yeah, there's a bunch of zombies around. We should be able to take them all out, though. Let me see if these doors... Yeah, they we could open them. Good. Okay. All right, that's good. Let's open this one, too. We could, like, barricade this place up really well, so... I'm gonna check out these buildings. Yeah, there's a few zombies. Yeah, that's look like a, a motel over there. We could check it out. Maybe we can get some stuff from there. You'll never know. All right, let's take these guys out. One dead. One more dead. Come on, bro, die. Thank you. Bro, I need that map. I need that map so bad. Nightstick. All right, nothing we need, sadly. Jenny's table. All right, let's check out Jenny's table. What's over there? It's like a few other buildings by the looks of it, yeah. I right, see what's up at Jenny's table. It's probably... What, what is that? Yeah, it's a diner. All right, we're gonna have to smash one, though. Remove glass. And then let's get through. We're getting wet. Probably from sweat. I mean, we could, um, like, if we're gonna live in the supermarket, we could use these chairs as beds, but I don't really like, I don't really think it's a good idea. We're getting exerted. I mean, yeah, we probably are getting a bit tired. Hand fork, Bria. Nothing good. Apron. Alright, assume we found Jenny. Uh, we gotta sit on ground for a little bit. Feeling sad. Yeah, we're no longer that wet. We are just a bit moist now. Is there anything good in here? Alright, so this is like the kitchen. Jesus! Burger rotten, fries rotten, burger rotten. Yeah, everything's rotten. There's still some fresh food. We gotta eat the fresh food before electricity rot cuts out because I think it's gonna cut out soon. I have a feeling- Oh my god, there's so much food over here! Okay, that is actually some- That is actually really good. Alright, let's take the fresh. Maybe we could fi cook the fish as well. Let's put them all in my bag. And for now, we'll try to just eat those. Ham. The uncooked food. I hear zombies outside. The uncooked food will just keep it in here for now. Yeah, we got ourselves quite a lot of food. There's zombies outside. All right, so let's just get to the motel before it gets too dark. We'll spend the night there. Hopefully, we'll find a television so that we can upgrade our skills a little bit as well. All right, one dead. All right, lovely. And yeah, the motel may have some zombies, actually. After the motel, we should probably go back to our main um, base and perhaps move some of the loot to the uh, supermarket. So that, like some of the guns, for example, so that we have the loot split in half, I guess. I, I don't know if we should do that. I right, read the motel. Book. Good, let's read that. Yeah, 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 relax. I know about you. 
All right, good. Did I not get the book? Yeah, I didn't read the book. Oh my god, let me read the book. Be gone. Thank you. Yeah, we should sleep soon, so... No, not not favorite. Read. All right, finally. And let's sleep. Good night. Uh, another... Hopefully, I'll sleep through the whole night. I don't think I will. I'll probably just sleep for a few hours. Yeah, three hours slept. Four hours slept. Five. Six. Okay. Six hours sleep. Not bad. Uh, let's fill the saucepan with water. Every time we should fill it up, just so that we'll have ourselves as much water as possible. Alright, this room had a book only. I think we're gonna get anything that good. Let's just get the book. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get anything good, man. Literally nothing. So maybe we should actually go back to base, read some books, relax a bit. This was a good run, though. Find ourselves a supermarket. Again, it's my first time that I found this. In terms of food, we're gonna be okay for, for a little while, at least, so... Can't complain about that. Hotel would have been a nice place to live, to be honest. There's a zombie around. Yeah, I think he's in here. Yeah. Die. Do they only have a book each? I mean, that's nice to have, but really? Just books? Oh, this one has two single beds. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so we don't really need to come all the way up here anymore, to be honest. Like this... Oh my god! This woman... Absolutely terrified me. Yeah, we don't- Yeah, we definitely don't need to come to the motel then. Motel doesn't really have anything that good, so... We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to main base. I don't even know what's all the way back there. It's probably, like, leads to another town or something like that. We got a little horde after us. One's dead. One more dead. Another one dead. Another one. There's still one zombie there, but whatever. Alright, let's see, maybe this car has gas in it. Nope, it's locked as well. So now I didn't really find any cars that are unlocked, sadly. Right, let's go to the supermarket. There's a few cars over there, so maybe we could check them out really quickly. Bro, I hate running in the dark. At least it's like there's don't see any zombies around. I'm kind of amazed how, how we are getting very wet. It's just sweat, though. Alright, so we did get into in this car. Wait, let me actually go on the driver's seat. Empty. Trunks is unlocked. Heat's here. No key for this key car found. I don't even know how you find the car, the, um, the key for it, man. There's a few cars here. Let's check them out. Is it locked? This one's locked. Yeah, this one's just locked. So can't really do much about it. This car looks still in good condition, to be honest. <laughs> Every car is locked, man. This one's not locked. Oh, I absolutely, I, I pressed Q by mistake. Oops. If I remember correctly, I found a car. Zombies are coming because I accidentally shouted. Let's just take her out. Oh my god! Oh, there's a few zombies actually. Alright, bro's dead. Four zombies over here. Let's just go kill him. One dead. Another one. We're getting slightly exerted. And hot. Alright, we gotta be careful that we don't get too wet because we may catch a cold and I would hate it if I catch a cold. We should go inside soon or something or like rest a little bit. Yeah, okay, well, can't really do much. Still a few zombies there, uh, but I'm gonna try to avoid them. I'm just gonna go inside and um, calm down a bit, eat some food, maybe sleep so that it gets day. I hate the dark. I really, really do. Alright, well, there's a door back here so we could just enter from here. I hope no zombies entered somehow. I shouldn't, but you never know, man. Alright, we are inside. Beautiful. There's some burrito. I'm gonna eat a burrito. Why not? Sit on ground so that everything will calm down. We will no longer be wet. Moist now. Kind of wish I had a book on me, but it's whatever. This one's empty. Another burrito. Peanut butter sandwich. Empty beer can. Yeah, I don't need any of these. Look how many boxes we have, bro. This is insane. All right, well, uh, I don't know if I should get out of here. So we've explored all the way up here, basically. So we are all the way up here. But I'm th I know that we have to go, I'm pretty sure, this road for the prison, but it's quite far. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's a part of the... Oh, that's the part of the map we found. Okay, well, yeah, we don't really need that at all now, then. All right, so let's just focus on arriving back to, to our main base, I guess. But if we need food, we know where to come. There's a lot of canned food, coffee, yeah. If we ever need food, if we ever run out of food, we'll come here. That's for sure. Let's check out this car. Alright. Uh, can't do much, as always. So what we have to do is we have to walk, alright, this way. To find the road. Yeah, man, there's barely any zombies, so that's pretty nice to see, bro. There's no zombies, I don't see any. There's two there, but... Look how many we killed. How many did we kill? We started at 100, and now we're over at... 171, damn. 
That's a that's a good run, man. 171 zombie kills. They even know what day we are on. But obviously my main goal for the game overall, I don't think we will reach it with this run, but if we do, that would be insane. Is to survive for 100 days. If we survive for 100 days, I would be so happy. If we keep being careful, maybe we will get there. But I still gotta be very, very, very careful. So currently our weight is 96. Yeah, we have slow healer, slow learner, smoker, clumsy. I'm pretty sure I mentioned them earlier. But we're overweight, out of shape, strong, thick-skinned, and brawler. Which I think is uh, really, really good actually to have. Yeah, we've almost arrived. Oh wait, we did arrive. Oh, I'm stupid. I kept going forward. Alright, we made it back from a pretty nice run, 5 a.m. So just in time for the television, I think. Start, starts at 6 a.m. Uh, let's not sleep. So what I'm gonna do... So what did we even get from this run? I didn't really get anything, I just got... Oh yeah, I got a bunch of fresh food. So let me actually put all of the fresh food in there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look how much food we have, man. Again, food is not a problem. The only problem is when electricity will run out. That's the only problem right now. So I'm not eating any of the canned food. I'm just eating all of the fresh food for now. So that when electricity runs out, we'll have ourselves, you know, the... Oh, yeah, we got tarp as well. I forgot about that. Yeah, we got an orange here. Burrito, book, bandage. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sit on the ground, read the book, wait for it to be 6 a.m. Because when it's 6 a.m., it will start. Yeah, we'll get ourselves boredom and cooking. Uh, so that's pretty good. Yeah, cooking is over here. Oh, there. It's already done. You're like almost halfway there to cooking three. Good. All right, so let's drop everything I don't need. Yeah, we still got book in here. Let's put book there. Duct tape. Yes, this cupboard is basically full. Can't put anything else in there. I don't think I can put the tarps. Nope. So, yeah, we got canned beans here for some reason. Yeah, our backpack is empty. Yeah, it was full of food. So, all right. As always, let's fill the saucepan with water. We can put the tarps in here. This one still has a bit of space, so that's good. Let's wash all the clothing because we haven't washed our clothes in quite a while, so we should do that. Alright, and let's wash ourselves. Beautiful. Lovely. Alright. 